Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Definition of friction and its importance in motion. Answer. Understanding friction and its importance in motion. Friction is a force that opposes the relative motion or tendency of such motion of two surfaces in contact. It acts parallel to the surfaces and in the direction opposite to the motion or attempted motion. Friction is a crucial concept in physics and engineering because it affects how objects move and interact with each other. Key concepts of friction 1. Types of friction. Static friction. This is the frictional force that prevents two surfaces from sliding past each. Other. It acts when the surfaces are at rest relative to each other. For example, when you try to push a heavy box on the floor, static friction is what resists the initial push. Kinetic, sliding, friction. This occurs when two surfaces are sliding past each other. It is usually less than static friction. For example, once the box starts moving, the friction you feel is kinetic friction. Rolling friction. This is the frictional force that occurs when an object rolls over a surface. It is generally much less than both static and kinetic friction. For example, rolling a ball or a wheel on the ground involves rolling friction. Fluid friction. This type of friction occurs when an object moves through a fluid, liquid, or gas. For example, air resistance is a type of fluid friction that acts on a moving car or airplane. Two, factors affecting friction. Surface roughness. Rougher surfaces have higher friction because there are more microscopic contact points that resist motion. Normal force. The force pressing the two surfaces together. Greater normal force increases friction. For example, Heavier objects experience more friction. Material properties. Different materials have different coefficients of friction, which is a measure of how easily one material slides over another. Importance of friction in motion. One, starting and stopping motion. Friction is essential for starting motion. Without static friction, you wouldn't be able to walk or drive a car because your feet or the car tires would just slip. Friction is also crucial for stopping motion. For example, Brakes in vehicles rely on friction to slow down or stop the vehicle. Two, controlling motion. Friction allows us to control the motion of objects. For instance, when you write with a pencil, friction between the pencil and paper allows the graphite to leave a mark. In sports, athletes rely on friction to perform better. For example, soccer players use friction between their shoes and the ground to change direction quickly. Three, energy dissipation. Friction converts kinetic energy into thermal energy heat. This is why rubbing your hands together makes them warm. In machinery, friction can cause wear and tear, leading to energy loss and the need for lubrication to reduce friction. Practical applications of friction. One, transportation. Tires are designed to maximize friction with the road to provide better grip and control. Brake systems and vehicles use friction to stop the car effectively. 2. Everyday activities. Walking and running depend on the friction between your shoes and the ground. Using tools like hammers and screwdrivers relies on friction to hold and manipulate objects. 3. Industrial applications. Conveyor belts use friction to move products along a production line. Clutches in vehicles use friction to engage and disengage the engine from the transmission. Understanding friction helps us design better tools improve safety, and enhance performance in various activities. It is a fundamental force that plays a vital role in our daily lives and technological advancements.